Well, good evening and thanks so much for joining us here. I'm Mike Gillespie. Tonight, one man trying to figure out what comes next after an 80 year old man drove a pickup truck through his garage while he was working inside. That crash happened Thursday evening on the 4500 block of Prescott Street and resulted in the garage catching fire with the elderly man losing his life. Our Josh Maxwell spoke with the man who made it out and joins us now live with a look at how he's moving forward following the tragedy. Josh. Mike, Frank Rodriguez was outside making t-shirts when the crash happened. Police say the elderly man was driving down Galahar near Prescott when he lost control of his vehicle, went through a fence, a backyard, and a second fence before ending up in Rodriguez's garage. It was out of nowhere. The car just came and hit me. Frank Rodriguez lives off the busy intersection of Prescott and Galahar Road. Last night, a pickup truck drove through his neighbor's fence, but it didn't stop there. Came straight and crashed into the garage, and it hit me and threw me from one side of the garage to the other. The garage caught fire after the crash, and even though Rodriguez was hurt, his first thought wasn't to flee, but to help. I was trying to get him out, but... I couldn't, it was just too much flames and smoke. Rodriguez escaped the accident with minor injuries, but says he knows that there are others affected who will need to heal in different ways. Sorry for the family of the gentleman that was in that car or truck. And uh, I did everything I could. Rodriguez says that he's still trying to figure out what happens next. I lost everything. I. I, I, my business was in the garage. But in the end, he knows that there are some things that can never be replaced. So, I mean, it's killing me. Like, it's, I couldn't help the guy. I couldn't help him. Now, I did speak with a mental health professional who says that events like these can vary from person to person. They say that it's best to seek help after traumatic events like this. Mike? All right, certainly an emotional story. Thank you, Josh, for digging into that. And